My name is Franz Degen, I am the CEO of Devisoft Austria. Right now, I want to show you the latest technology, the latest innovation in data acquisition units. Data acquisition units are done for 30, 40 years. I do it and sell it for 30 years. But this is unique. Why? Look at this. We have several input channels and you connect any sensor. You don't even know what kind of sensitivity. The dual core technology, running two ranges, you care about that. You just connect, you measure. You have small uh, signal inputs, you have high signal inputs, microvolts or high voltage, vibration, counter, whatever. That's it. And we will show you how you're going to use that in a minute. Dynamic structure analysis, the FRF function done with series, either excitation with the hammer or excitation with the shaker using the analog output of the multi module. We're going to show you how that works. So let's do the demo for the uh, FRF, for the structural uh, analysis of this table. Uh, very simple demo, I have prepared one setup uh, and this setup already shows a simple, uh, shows two channels in the input. So let's see the analog input channels. There is one excitation channel, one response channel. And um, so the excitation is my hammer. The response is this sensor located on position number two. And I want to see the structure of this table, how that moves, where are the natural frequencies of this body. Go to the FRF model test setup. Here it's prepared that I'm going to measure four response channel, four excitation channels and one response channel. Uh, triggered um, acquisition, that's all I have prepared here. If I go to the measure mode, then automatically you see already the system is waiting for my first hit. I made my first one on, uh, on this point. Okay, by the way, now I had to hit too much. You see the overload. So I just uh, recheck this one and, uh, um, and, and start again. One, two. So now I have uh, the first hit on the first response. I go to my next point. Two. Okay, I go to my number three, next point. And I go to my number four. Okay, now you see all hits are, are good. The last one again, the coherence was almost always one. The last one, I let's say, reject this one again and, um, and hit again four. Okay, not perfect, but it's okay. So here, now we could see, uh, here immediately, when you click to any point of the frequency, the movement of this table according to the different frequencies. If I want to go to a certain uh, area to really see the precise frequency, you can see this area is 145.3 Hz. There is also the circle fit, the circle fit shows you the precise frequency is 145.21 Hz. Uh, this is quite important because we really want to know the precise frequency at this point. This is done in the circle fit. Also, we do calculate the damping at this point. Uh, this is an additional function of the FRF. So this is what most people want to see. If you can show that in these few minutes, then they are more than excited and they will buy immediately from you. But now one thing is, no, I'm a measurement guy. I see some curve, uh, some curve on the response function, I see a coherence. Normally I want to know is this true, is this fake, is this good, is this bad, right? So I always check my testing measurement system when I make a short circuit to, uh, to analyze that. If I say I want to check my FRF measurement, you know what I do? I always hit the same point and see what's happened. So let's make this again. So what I do is I make stop and I just start again. And I start again and I hit at the same point anywhere um, again and again. So that means I hit point number one, done. Point number one again, I go to the next point, but I hit the same one. One, one, uh, one. again, two. and you can see the response is pretty much the same already. So pretty good. Hammer man. One, two. 
So now four times I hit the table. If I go to, to my analysis function now and click in here, can you see how here it, how it moves? Of course, the whole table moves this way. Well done. So I can show you I'm not doing a fake. This is a real measurement. If you trust me, you do the same thing. Your customer will trust you. He will buy. Okay. Selling point number three. Done. Good.